Hello everybody, Cowboy Vine here. Well, I've been lazy and sick. Mostly sick. Yeah, um, I got sick a few weeks a few weeks ago and let's see, I couldn't I couldn't really talk. Uh, I kept up a, having a constant cough, um, runny nose all the time. Yeah, it was really annoying. So I didn't get any reviews done for I don't know, about three weeks. Two weeks to get over the cold, basically. And then a bad cough that kept on annoying me all week. But yeah, I'm back to do reviews, even though my reviews never stopped happening. They kept on getting released on Saturdays and a few occasional other days. But that's only because I have backlog, backlog stuff. Anyway, we got a review to talk about. Since I'm wearing light blue, let's talk about the Frost Giant from the Thor movie. By the way, I actually saw the Thor movie probably a day before I actually got sick, so my plan was to review the movie the next day after seeing it, but I got sick, so I'll explain it in a few minutes, I guess. Say some cool stuff. And Anyway, let's talk about the character. Um, the Frost Giants are probably like the henchmen class villains of the of Thors. There, there's a lot of these guys. There's a lot of enemies of them. And this is the single card version. As of now, there is two versions: a a, a regular version and a deluxe version. I also have the deluxe one. Uh, you know what? We might do that <clears throat> that in another review. But here is. The Frost Giant. As the little blurb on the back reads, <clears throat> Since the beginning of time, the Frost Giants have struggled to break through the walls of Asgard. Al although they have always been defeated by its king, Odin, they have never been destroyed. They now wait and plot their, their return when when they will be strong enough to rise up again and finally destroy the Golden Realm and its king. So yeah, they, there's a lot of these guys and they're like henchmen, I guess. I, I want because there's a lot of them, I'm going to call them henchmen for bigger villains. Truth be told, in the movie, I really thought these guys would be hen Loki, Loki's main henchmen, but surprisingly not. Anyway, here, let's look at the figure. Got a little loincloth thingy. And armor and stuff. Of course, these guys are a lot smaller. Y you know what? If I had a figure of Thor, or actually own one, I don't own one yet, and I would probably compare it to size, but I don't, so I guess I'll just have to match it up the size with something else. Yeah, these guys are bigger than the Star Wars figures, and the Star Wars figures are about the same exact size as the Marvel well, Marvel Universe stuff, so... Well, around that size, anyway. So yeah, these guys are bigger, so that's cool. That's actually kind of cool. That's how it was in the movie. Uh, let's see for articulation. The head moves a full 360, goes up and down. Arms go about this far up. Then turn a full 360. Uh, the arms can pivot around, but due to the fact of how these arms are designed, it's going to be hard to move the basic arms. Uh, the chest area moves up and down and can turn a full 360. Uh, legs are a little screwy. You can bend back and forth, but it's just telling the position. But the legs, full legs, turn a full 360. Bend at two points of the kneecaps. Feet pivot up and down and turn a full 360. But yeah, so, and the neck moves up and down like this. That's kind of cool. Uh, this figure comes with three accessories. A ice helmet. 
which goes like this. A club, also made of ice. And this ice shield, which personally look would be, I think, as a blade more than a shield, just by its design. And that's him and all of his accessories. These are kind of cool. Um, probably the army building figure of the Thor line, I guess. Um, let's see. This one is known as the Invasion Frost Giant. Most likely they're going to release more more figures for the Ice Giants. Um, let's see. Anything else? No, not really. It's a good figure. Um, besides it's kind of joints, but it just might be this one, really. Um, it's not that bad a figure. I uh, can't really complain, really. But it's alright. Well, I guess the next one we move to is the other frost giant from the first wave. The deluxe figure. Why is it still in packaging? Because I need to show the deluxe figure style. Because I haven't done one yet. So yeah. Uh, it's pretty much just the same packaging, just a lot bigger and wider. It has more stuff. Bigger. Pretty much the same detailing and stuff, but it has a different blurp. <clears throat> and here's what their blurp breeds. This guy's uh, the darker blue frost giant. Hailing from from the cold, war-torn city of Jotunheim. I don't know, it's Norse. It's actually Norse, so I don't know. The Frost Giant is a dangerous enemy of the citizens of Asgard. This foe is armed with all kinds of weapons and is ready to take the power of Thor head on. With his Frost Helmet, the Frost Giant is almost in invincible to any harm that may come to his way. Is this a specialist Frost Giant? Is this THE Frost Giant? just a blue one. It's not giving a name. He's the blue frost giant. Pretty much the only real difference between these two is the coloring. That's it. Well, give me a second and I'll be back. Alright, open him up. Uh, save some time. Uh, articulation is the exact same. So, yeah, let's just go to accessories and stuff because this guy comes with a lot. Comes with the same ice club, a helmet, let's see. Uh, let's see, the ice shield. Now for all the new accessories. He comes with this axe thing, ice axe, I guess is what I would call it. That's actually kind of cool. Or is it... I'm guessing by the handle it's supposed to go like this, but it seems more dangerous if it was like this. I don't know. And the two other things were the... were the two of these. Let me show you what they... They're pretty much just ice missile launchers, I guess. See, it comes with these two missile, ice missile things. As soon as I find out how they properly go in, I'll show you. If I can find where the this go, can't. I, I honestly I can't seem to find it. Ah, okay. Had it backwards. 
Never mind. Goes like this. Just that just makes me an idiot. I'm not noticing that. And I guess it just launched. Um. I, how do I shoot this? Um. Um. I, I don't. Um. I. Okay, packaging, packaging, packaging. It doesn't say. There's no information to tell me how to shoot this thing. Yeah, that was random. Okay, apparently it just shoots randomly. That doesn't make... Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't care. Uh, the deluxe figure just comes with a lot of it. A few extra things. Probably the axe thing is probably the coolest thing. Everything else, it's pretty... If you want a specialist, uh, I guess... Frost Giant, you can pick this one up. If you can actually find it. I do recommend the regular Frost Giant more, but they're both kind of cool figures to go in a, um, how would I put this, uh, an army builder for Loki's henchmen. That'd be kind of cool. Hopefully there will be some more Thor figures, but from what I'm seeing, most of the, most of the toy pro projects and stuff are going towards the Captain America movie stuff. And, well, I love Captain America, so hopefully we'll see some cool stuff. Next, I really hope I find a Thor and or buy a Thor really cheap because I don't have Thor and I need one. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, oh, by the way, I'll video, I guess. Uh, the movie was really good. I liked it. Um, yeah, I'll talk more about that later then. Anyway, I'm Catboy Van. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Later.